Hey everybody, it's me, Danny, and today I'm back with a new video. So, the end of the month has come upon us, and that means it is time for a wrap-up. And this month was a good reading month for me, particularly because of the book Tubathon. And I read a total of nine months this fate this nine nine books this month and seven of those books were in this past week for the booktubeathon but the two books i read outside of the booktubeathon are the spell coats and the crown of delmark which is, which are book three and four in the delmark quartet by diana wins jones and this one the you're set following two characters in present day and then this book takes us back into the prehistoric time and which i thought was really cool and my favorite thing about this book is that four of the main characters had names were named after birds which is amazing I love that way too much for it to be considered normal, but hey, we're not normal here. But yeah, I I enjoyed it. Like this was, like the writing style for this one was different because it kind of switched between past tense and present tense at times, because there are things talking about like how it happened at the at the like previously, and then times like what's happening currently. And that was a little different, but it was still good. It's still, I still enjoyed it very much. And then this one, The Crown of Delmark. This one was a real interesting read because it, it gave something that none of the other Diana Wynne Jones books that I've read have done. Because normally in her series, each, each book follows a new main character. And the series started off like that. Each each of the three books following their own individual main character, a new main character. And this one was interesting because, yes, it introduced a new main character, but it also brought in three other main characters from the three other books and put them all in the same story, going on the same adventure. And I thought that was so cool because it also gave me the opportunity to have this really big ship, and I liked that. But I enjoyed that the four main characters were all characters from the previous three, like, three out of the four main characters were all main characters from the previous three books, and that enjoyed me. That made me happy. I enjoyed that. And on to the Booktubeathon, the first book I read was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. This one c completed the challenge, uh, a book you bought for the cover, because, I mean, look at this freaking gorgeous cover. But I knew I was going to enjoy this book because I had seen the movie multiple times, and this is essentially the movie in book form. It is the movie in book form. And because I saw the movie before reading this, I had, like, the actual characters' voices in my head. For, like, basically, Eddie Redmayne was in my head while I was reading this. I was okay with that. But this was such, a, like, a light, fun read, and that's why I wanted to start with it, because I knew it would get me into the mood of the booktubeathon, which is all fun and happy. And, yeah, five out of five stars, because... It, Joe and Newt Scamander. Just gonna put that out there. The second book I read for the book to the thon was The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. This completed the reading challenge, read a book with someone on the cover. Now, the one thing I can say about this book is that this book is now one of my new favorite books. This is such a good book. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. I, it took like a very different turn from what I imagined in my head. This one is about a girl named Avery. Uh, she's grown up. With, it's just been her and her mother her entire life. Because she believes that 
she has no family left. And then a strange new boy comes to her school and he tells her that, hey, you, you have family. I'm going to go introduce you to your cousins. And so she goes, he travels halfway across the world to Paris, France. And she gets caught up in this big, crazy adventure trying to meet her family. And it's such a good book. I feel like such a traitor saying that because this is te this is can technically be classified as a contemporary. And if you've seen my previous video, you know how I feel about contemporaries. It's not that I don't like contemporaries. I just prefer fantasy because I like fan because I read to escape the world, and I can't escape the world if I'm reading contemporary because contemporary is set in the world. But this one isn't like. A contempor it takes you on an adventure, te like giving you a different piece of the world than you know. And I think that's really cool, and I love this book, and you need to read it. The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. The third book I read for the Booktubeathon was, it was Lost in the Labyrinth by Patrice Kindle. This beat, this, uh, this was for the challenge, read a book with a character that is different from you. And this character was different for me because she is an ancient Greek. She is a princess, basically. And yeah, this book, this book was okay. Like it was a good read. I enjoyed the story because I, I, I love retellings and this is a retelling of the Minotaur myth. And like one of the things, I just kind of didn't like all the characters and I, and the writing style was, like, I know they did it on purpose to make it feel old, but I just, I couldn't find myself getting into it as much as I wanted to, and that was a little disappointing. So this is like a three and a half out of five stars, but, yeah. I mean, it was, it's still an enjoyable read, and I still got through it really quickly, because, I mean, this is tiny, it's not even 200 pages, but, yeah. It was a meh. The fourth book I read for... The booktube -a -thon. I also read in the same day as Lost in the Labyrinth, and this is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by Newt's Commander, aka J.K. Rowling. And this is just like the classification of the different magical creatures in in the Harry Potter universe. And it was an educational read. I learned more about the Wizarding World than I did previously, and that is always an achievement. And I got some more, like, information on some of the creatures that were mentioned in the movie and in the screenplay. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. The fifth book I read for the Booktubeathon was Safest Houses by Eric Walters. This completed the challenge, read a book completely outside, which I hated because I don't want to go, I didn't, I don't want to go outside. Outside is scary. There's people. But yeah, this this one I I discovered I originally got this it, from my second grade teacher. I got this like a lifetime ago basically. But yeah, I was 8 when I got this book. And yeah, but I I I read it back when I got it because that was like, when I could, if I got a new book, I read it immediately, because that's how life worked back then. But, yeah, I, I enjoyed it back then. I enjoyed it again. One thing I didn't enjoy about this book was that there was a dog at the beginning, but there wasn't at the end. I just, that made me cry a little bit, because animals, they always get you. But, yeah, it was, this was like, I, this was a, a quick little read. I was only outside for like two hours, which was great because I'd already been outside previously because I had a picnic earlier with my family, but that was last only half an hour. But it was crazy hot when I decided to read this, but I read it later in the evening, so it was cooler, and so I didn't have to suffer for longer than I needed to. The sixth book I read for the Booktubeathon is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This completed the challenge, read a hyped book, and this was a reread for me. 
I had previously read it when it came out last year, but it took me like a month to read it, as I said in like my TBR video. But it was so much better this time, mainly because I just sat and I basically read it all in a day. And that, that made it so much better. I was able to get more in touch with the story and it moved so much faster than it did the first time because I wasn't in the middle of a slump when I attempted to read it. And I'm so happy that I decided to reread it because I love every, I love, I love this world. I love the characters. I love like the mythology behind it, like with all the monsters and how they come to be. It's like, and this book, when it's world building, doesn't feel like info dumping world building, which I absolutely love. Like you learn bit by bit, like the farther along you go until suddenly you know this entire world and the book's ended and you're just like, whoa, when did I learn all these things about the world? And that's, that's one of the things I love about this book. And the seventh and final book I read this month and also for the booktubeathon was Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. This is the sequel to The Savage Song and the conclusion in the Monsters of Verity duology. And this book, I, I, this was the only book that I read in two days. I started, I started it on Friday and then I finished it on Sunday. Because, I mean, I, I could have read this entire book by Saturday, but I wanted to take my time with it. Because I wasn't willing to say goodbye to the characters in the world that I love so much. But I love this, I, I love this book, like, it starts off, like, right, right in the action, because you end in, in the action in The Savage Song, and it kind of picks up, but this takes place six months after This Savage Song, when Kate has left, and everything, and, uh, just following, like, the different, just following everything was great. I love the story. I, this, this was such like a good conclusion to the story arc, even though it I have no feelings. <laughs> I had no feelings for like a good 10 hours after I read this book. But, you know, that's what you expect in a conclusion to a dark series. <laughs> a dark series. Yeah. But this completed the challenge. Read seven books. And I did. So I completed all of the reading challenges for the Booktubeathon, which is amazing considering this is my first Booktubeathon. And I'm probably never going to do this ever again. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, this has been my July wrap up. Let me know if you have read any of the books in the comments down below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like, or if you like seeing my face. If you want to see, and if you want to see more of my face, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can see all my other videos when they come out. And I will see you all in my next video, whenever that may, may be. Because now I don't, I won't have daily videos anymore for you guys just because of the booktubeathon, which is sad. But anyways, I will see you guys later. Now go home and read a book. Bye.